so it's 2020 and by now everybody's got a blog a YouTube channel anything you can think of so if you haven't yet started these are a few of my favorite things that can help you get started as a vlogger let's go wait before we actually get into the content I've been told that I speak a lot with my hands so let me get this out the way quickly Now let's go. So you've decided that you actually want to start a vlog, but you have no idea where to begin. What software to use, what camera to use, what accessories to use. It can be such a daunting experience, but I'm here to help with a few things that I actually use currently. So in order to start a vlog or at least to start anywhere, I think you need four important things. A camera, the two software, some decent audio, and something to mount your camera on. Let's start with number one, the camera. Here's a bit of advice. Don't even think about going out to buy some fancy DSLR point and shoot camera unless you currently know how to use what's in your pocket. Most of us, if not all of us, have smartphones. I shoot 90% of my content with my cell phone. I currently use an iPhone 11. I know the settings, I know what to use when, and if you don't know how to use what you've currently got, it makes no sense to go out and go buy something fancy. So use what you've got. The next thing I think you should get is a mount. So I bought this little baby. It's used specifically for smartphones, but can be used with DSLRs as well. So let's show you what this actually looks like and what it's used for. So first of all, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's got a strap where you can actually put your hand through and fasten it so that if it falls out of your hand, it'll just drop straight from the strap. It's also got a little level where you can see that everything's leveled, of course, and the bottom of it screws out so that um, you can insert this little thing. Now, this is a tripod if you want to mount it and just put it down. As you can see, you can obviously mount your cell phone and the cool part about it is that it has cold shoe mount on the top where you can mount what I think is important, number three, some decent audio. So like I said before, number three is get yourself some decent audio. I currently use a Boya BYMM1, which I purchased online. This thing is decent. So it also comes with a little wind shield or a dead mouse that you can slot on if you're using it outside. And the cool part about it is that it comes with two cables, one that you can use for your cell phone and one that you can use for a DSLR. And it's labeled so that you'll obviously know where each one goes. So now that you're all set up and ready to go straight out and vlog, you need some decent software to go along with this. Most cameras by default have some decent built-in software, but there's some decent software out there that you can use in order to really dial into getting the best possible look for your camera. So I currently use an app called ProMovie. This allows me to use manual settings in order to dial in exposure, to lock in aperture, and everything that I need in order to film most of my movies. I'm gonna give you a little taste of what ProMovie is all about. This won't be a full tutorial, but let's have a look. This is ProMovie. And I'm just going to give you a few highlights in terms of how it works and what I sort of use to make uh, most of my content. So the most important thing to remember is you can use manual settings here in order to make your video as cinematic, as overexposed, underexposed as you want to. I've just got a little clip here of me recording a skateboard. And as you can see, there's a whole host of settings where you can change the camera, you can put the flash on, you can manipulate everything as much as you want. You can adjust the shutter speed. 
either up or down and lock it in if you want you can adjust the ISO and that you'll see will obviously over and underexpose it and lock that in as well white balance focus and you can zoom in and then as well you can adjust your frame rates and what you're recording on so there's a whole host of things that you can do with this app and it's at a fraction of the cost that you're going to spend um, using professional software and the cool thing about it is that you can manipulate it as much as you want um, in order to make your movies according to how you want to that brings you to the end of this part of the content if you'd like me to do any future content with regards to pro movie or how to use the settings give me a comment below and let me know i'll be happy to share any future content with regards to some of the apps that i still use before i go don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell below if you want to see any future content and i will see you in the next one peace